Hey guys, so Amy called me today and she said, Vlogamus is starting. And I'm like, okay, let's do this. <laughs> so I guess what, 31 days of December. So you might get some longer videos, some shorter videos. Um, just had a whole day of lots of school, homework, picked up the house a bit. I'm out getting gas right now and then I'm gonna run to HEB, but I'm getting gas for $2.49. If you're a member of Allon, they'll send you texts like usually weekly with 20 cents off. So $2.49 is pretty good. Still horrible, right? In the big picture of things. But I'll take $2.49. And we got an HEB, I don't know, maybe a year ago. I'm really bad with timing, you guys. I don't know. But um, I didn't quite get it at first, but now I really get it. So I'll drive a few extra miles just to hit an HEB. So, um, Amy, it would give Walmart a run for your competition. Uh, <laughs> so, um, I'll show you my haul when I get home. Hey guys, I just got home from ATB. I'm gonna make this quick because I wanna fit in a quick workout tonight. So, I had to get some fresh flowers. I love fresh flowers. And look, these are like red Gerber daisies. And you guys, I don't know my flowers, but I'm pretty sure they're Gerber daisies. But um, they're only $3.98. How many are in there? One, two, three, four. So $3.98, aren't they gorgeous? I just love it. And I can't believe it's December 1st already. And the, my boys are gonna, they're with their dad tonight. They're with him on Tuesday, Thursday nights. And then my boys are with him all weekend. So I don't know when we're gonna put up our tree and I have too much work to do this weekend anyway. And plus Harrison has a, a, a gymnastics in our squad, competition, soccer games, you know, the whole thing. So I got some more teeth whitening. I've been out for like a month. So, I like to wipe my teeth usually like, you know, once every two weeks or so and keep my curly whites. <laughs> and then, what else did I get? I got, and the, one of the things I love about ATV that you can't do at Walmart, I don't trust their meats, you guys. I just don't buy chicken and hamburger there. Um, Amy, I don't know if you do or not. But anyway, look what I got. I got some, and I burned these last time on the grill. <laughs> Actually got like a little grease fire going with the bacon. <laughs> So, I'm going to try them in the oven this time, but I got um, cream cheese jalapeno poppers, and this is my H-E-B run, if I, if I forgot to say that. So, like I said, we just got like an H-E-B like a year ago. It's awesome. So, yum. Can't wait to eat these. And then, and my boys love all this stuff too. And then I got some lemon pepper um, chicken tenderloins, pre-seasoned. Throw, you know, make some rice, throw a veggie with it, dinner. Voila, lunch, we're home, we're home so much. So, um, we used to be grain free, but we're not anymore, you guys. Life is just too busy for all that nonsense. <laughs> uh, I understand the health benefits and, you know, all that. I've been into holistic, integrative medicine for probably 12 years or longer. But, you know, single mom, in a hurry, busy. But I got pita chips and um, H-E-B brand and some kind of Casa Yellow Corn chips. And the reason why I got the corn chips is because I got, um, this is probably what I'm gonna have for dinner. I don't know. <laughs> I got a couple salads too. But I got a um, mild, uh, mild pico guac blend. Yum, I love guacamole, fresh avocados, which I forgot to get some fresh avocados. I got way more than I planned to get. So this is this might be part of my dinner tonight after I do a workout. So with my, with my yummy chips and let's see what else I got. I got two pre-made salads, almond cherry and buffalo ranch, yum. And Nathaniel and Harrison will probably help me inhale those, especially Nathaniel, he is a salad nut. My oldest son, Benjamin, was American Standard Diet. Ugh. So, and he, his palate is not so strong, okay? But Nathaniel and Harrison, I knew about way healthy reading by the time they came along. And um, thankfully, Benjamin was breastfed, you know, for two years, they all breastfed. But anyway, even my adoptive son, but that's another story I'll tell you guys for another day. So, um, I wanted them to have attachment bonding with me and I was a total attachment mama with my babies. So, um, that's another story for another time too. They're all, you know, way out of that stage now. But um, Nathaniel, were, oh, so Nathaniel and Harrison's first foods were avocados, right? So healthy. So they both obviously love avocados. And got our favorite bacon, natural choice uncured bacon. So yummy yum. We had that this morning with some fried eggs and I used the bacon grease from it. 
And then I got some whole milk organic yogurt. And you know what I did tonight? The Greek yogurt's like double the price. I'm sure there's more probiotics in it, but I compared all the ingredients on this and the vitamins, and there was not much difference at all. So I'm like, you know, why am I gonna pay double the cost? Not on my budget. Okay, and here's something that we splurge on usually like once a week, but um, kombuchas. Oh, so these are amazing probiotics, delicious. They taste like pop, but it's fermented tea if you don't know what it is. And my boys, this is gold. They've all had this since they were tiny babies. So, well, I guess the, the, the my youngest two, Benjamin started getting them when he was really young, like three or four years old. But anyway, um, they are sparkling um, probiotic kombuchas. We've got a root beer. We've got a um, luscious cream. They changed up their labeling. They even changed up some of their flavors, but they're still good. And what else did I get? And um, I got one for each of us so we can get our probiotics for the week in a natural way and delicious. Um, they're like pot flavored, you know? So, um, and then a spicy cherry berry. They used to say cola, like doctor. Oh, this one's formerly known as doctor. So spicy cherry berry. I don't know why they changed them. But anyway, they are delicious and we love those. And then I've got, we get our milk delivered straight from the farm. And I've been doing that for over 10 years as well. And um, they deliver every Tuesday like clockwork, doesn't matter what the weather is. Um, they're the sweetest, sweetest family. They're Christian. Um, I think they have 20 something cows. I don't know, I'm gonna have to ask them again. And we've never driven out to his farm. We need to do that. Um, and their, their family's just gold. They're just gold. And so they bring our milk weekly, but they dropped off two gallons this week because we were at Amy's for Thanksgiving last week. And my boys are so sick of potato soup because we've just had milk coming out of ears. I get one gallon delivered a week. So every Tuesday, and we used to fly through it, but I think we've just been so busy. So, but when we went to um, Olive Garden the other day with Amy in Tulsa at Utica Square, and oh, oh gosh, who was it that shared Utica Square with me? Um, Somebody shared, you guys, I gotta get names. I'm really bad with names, but somebody shared an old Utica Square from 1955 video with me, and it was amazing. So, um, and that's where we had gone to get that Olive Garden. So it's a really old, beautiful center. You know, the one I showed with all the pretty trees and lights and all the Christmas lights and everything. But anyway, so at Olive Garden, Zupa Toscana, I think is the name of the soup that's my favorite. So I might do a copycat of that and use some of our milk. So you know what, I should have looked up a recipe before I went, but I didn't think about it. So I got a couple onions. So if I make that Zupa Toscana, I'll have that. We've got milk. We've got, oh, I'm gonna have to go get some spicy sausage, which I think I have some in my deep freezer. Got some little Smokies. We've got some barbecue sauce we need to use up. I got some cheese sticks for the boys, just some healthy snacks. And I haven't shown y'all what I do for my coffee yet, but that'll be another morning. But I do these vital proteins. Um, it's collagen creamer, and I love the vanilla flavor. Amy started using it after she visited here when mom passed a month ago, and she likes the chocolate. I like the vanilla. So, and then I put my own flavors of all kinds of stuff in there, but you guys, I'm, I'm, this is helping my hair. Like, I lost half of my hair through my divorce, and it has not fully come back. And I always had fine hair, but super thick, massive hair. So if you have any tips, let me know. And I can't hardly talk about it, it'll make me cry because my hair was just always, you know, one of my assets and it's really hard to have thin hair now. So, I mean, it's, it, I still have hair. It's just so different now. So I'm trying this and I think it's helping. My nails are a little bit stronger. My hair is getting healthier, but <sighs> you know. So I thought by now my hair would have come back, but you know, my life is still pretty stressful. I still kind of work like a full-time job and homeschool and I was taking care of my mom, you know, all that thing. And I don't mean that as a pity party. I just mean, I wonder if that's why my hair isn't fully coming back. Just, you know, a problem, my cortisone levels probably stay pretty high. That's another reason why I work out and do some self-care. Um, so, and I got heavy whipping cream cause I also use this in my coffee and I use cinnamon in my coffee. I'll make a cup for you sometime cause I will be doing vlogmas. So you guys will be seeing me every day. Okay. And I'm not real super picky about my coffee and I don't like to spend a, a big bucks on coffee, but I, I, I'm trying something new. I got a French vanilla HEB medium roast. So, um, I like, I love flavored coffee. So I put my heavy whipping cream, my collagen, my cinnamon, and my coffee every morning, and I use, pretty much show me everything I'm doing. I use one of these little frothers. So my, my boys use this, they slime it up, they make chocolate milk and stuff with it too, but these things are amazing. 
So like, I would love to have a fancy coffee cappuccino machine. I just have a standard Cusin art. But, um, so this is what I use to froth my heavy whipping cream and my cinnamon. And um, then I pour my coffee and my collagen and all that in there. So, um, and did I say what brand this was? Vital Proteins, okay. Um, and HEB has the best price. They have a better price than Amazon. So, um, and let's see, I think that's it. I think that's that's what I got. That's what I got for my run, and I'm wanting to dive into that guacamole so bad. Yum. So, and I'm gonna go put my little flowers in my vase, and then I'm gonna do a quick workout. I may or may not catch base with you. I don't even know what my next workout is for my iron series. So, I'm gonna keep my tennis shoes on just in case, because you know I like to have my shoes off. It's <laughs> probably another reason why I like to do hot work so much. So anyway, thanks for hanging with me, guys, and happy first Vlogmas day. I don't know if I'm saying that right, Vlogmas. Maybe Amy says it both ways, or maybe I'm messing it up. So here we go. Um, I do have the Christmas lights on the outside of my house, but like I said, no Christmas tree. So it kind of feels weird. We're gonna have to move. We're gonna have to scoot. We might just have to take a day off of school next week and do it. Okay, blessings.